Hello wonderful people and welcome to the video. Let's chat a little about the third tube in the series of liquid charcoal Beschminke. In the two previous videos I've been sketching with peach stone black and cherry pit black and shared my first impressions with you. In this video we'll take a closer look at the color that's left, grapeseed black. Before I go into detail I want to let you know that all the swatches I'll be showing in this video will be uploaded to the coffee gallery too, which is linked down in the description box, so you can take a closer look at them. If you like, you can also support the channel in the watercolor database soundofcolors.com there too with a tip. Thank you! I'm not a believer in paywalls, but spreading knowledge, so everything I find out, uh, I find out I'm happy to share on those two resources. Another thing I believe is showing paint, paints in action. That's why I always show how the paints perform in the videos. As you know, swatching this show a lot of the paints quality, but it's best to get to know a supply when you really use it. It helps me to form an opinion and hopefully helps you too to make your decisions easier. When I first saw the ads for Schminke liquid charcoal, I was tempted, because in general I find sketching with a brush very, very relaxing and soothing. It fulfills a need in me, so I purchased them all to try. The liquid charcoal comes in huge 35ml tubes and three black colors. All of them are PBK8, but they show differences which we will talk about in this video, as I can show you comparisons of all three of them. The grapeseed black is the coolest of the colors, leaning into a blue hue. It looks very similar to some paints, gra paints grays I own, which surprised me. It does granulate a little and is easy to lift. The lifting abilities make it into a not well glazing paint, at least not as the first layer. It also flows less than the other colors in the series, which su surprised me a little. Grapeseed black was made from charred grape seeds, and it's what creates this bluish color. To me it was a surprise to see how different charcoals would change the color. But there's another thing about it. When swatching all of them side by side, the differences are clearly visible but aren't as big as I hoped or was suggested by the ads I've seen online. Cherry Pit Black is the warmest of them and almost leaning into a sepia color and granulating beautifully. The Cherry Pit Black is a little more staining than the others. Peach Stone Black is a nice neutral black that is in between the others hue-wise. Let's take a short look at the swatch cards side by side. In the comments of one of the last videos I was also asked to try erasing them as you could with a regular charcoal, but I'm sad to say that none of them erase well. I believe it's a matter of the binder added to the liquid charcoal, which is supposedly similar to watercolor. The pigment stays put on the paper after drying and isn't easy to erase, as watercolor wouldn't be. But if applied in a thick layer, it's possible to smudge the liquid charcoal a little with your fingers if you rub it. The surface of the paint feels a bit rough like sanding paper and you can feel the particles on your fingers when doing it. It doesn't feel bad, just something that reminded me of charcoal when I used to dry to draw with it many decades back. The binder allows the, allows the paint to be wetted on the palette. Um, I used a little ceramic dishes for my tests, but it needs to soak a little when fully dry to be at its best consistency. That's why I did not put it into a plastic pan, but used from the ceramic dish or freshly from the tube when, uh, when doing the tests. That worked really well for me, for me. Another question that popped up was the mixability with watercolor, so I included mixing sets mixing tests with a set of primaries by Lucas. The liquid charcoal mixes well with watercolor and creates colors you would get with 
um, regu regular black mixers. In the mixers, the color differences in the liquid charcoal isn't as apparent because they're really close to each other. They add some granulation to the mixers though, and I kind of like the mix with phthalic blue the most when I did the swatches. As for transparency, they're all semi-transparent to opaque when applied in the thick layer. In the end, I enjoyed using them for the sketches and believe that used on a big surface someone could create amazing things with them, almost like a granulating ink that they could be used like. The, the rewettability and possibility to use with a brush makes them special for me, personally, so they'll stay as a sketching medium in one of the dishes. The subtle color differences are maybe not worth to get all three of them for most of us. I enjoyed painting with the cherry pit black the most, but that's fully subjective. Quality-wise, they're all the same high level, really. Here you can again see the swatches side by side and the subtle color differences of the three paints. Again, I suggest you check out the swatch card scans on Kofi to form your opinion on these. There are other brands that offer the PBK8 pigment in watercolor. White Nice have Voronezhskaya Black, which is very similar to the Cherry Pit Black in hue. The same almost sepia color. Roman Schmall has Wine Black in their range, which is more neutral, like the Peach Stone Black from Schmincke. I have not found another PBK8 with a cool bluish color yet, which could be a replacement for a paint's gray in someone's palette, maybe. You can check swatches of the watercolor versions on sunandcolors.com by searching for PBK8. All of them are great for value studies, by the way. The difference to watercolor is that the liquid charcoal won't flow as well, as they're not designed to do that in comparison to watercolors. As you can see, I had no troubles working with these and enjoyed the process. But honestly, it's kind of what I expect from high quality supplies, that they will perform well. Let me know what you've missed, whether you've tried these and what you think about the swatching cards. I might use them in the future for other series like these and to highlight certain colors that I'm sharing with you. Have a wonderful day everyone and I hope to see you soon. Bye!